Hey, what's happening guys? What we've got here today is the XY-FZ35 electronic load. This was uh, sent out to us for our consideration from our friends at icstation.com and it lists for about $16. I'll put a link below uh, to the webpage where you can check this out or purchase one if you so see fit. Again, this is a DC electronic load. Basically, it is a constant current sink that allows you to test batteries or test circuits or, you know, whatever it is you want to test with a constant load on it. So, I'm going to power this thing up here. If you can get a look at the screen. Okay, so we have our input voltage and our adjusted current. So I can turn this. I should be able to adjust it up to about 5 amps. Yep, 5.1 amp. We'll take her down. We'll put her, say, 2 amps just to be safe. It was nice if this was um, sensitive to speed because that's a lot of turning of this uh, rotary encoder. So then you can press the encoder and it'll tell you watts, amp hours, how many hours, you know, timer it's been running. And then we're back to this. So that is our main display. Now, if we press and hold the encoder, we get to our parameter setup. And what we have here is over voltage protection. So 25.2 volts. Over current protection, 5.1 amp. Over power protection of 35.5 watts. Low voltage protection at 1.5 volts. If you're going to be working with um, 18650s, you're definitely going to want to adjust that as appropriate for your battery chemistry. Um, amp hour, uh, over timer. Okay. You got me on that one. I'm going to have to look that up. Data group function. Doesn't really say what that means. AEC. That's another one. Automatic error correction, maybe. Because this does have a UART interface. And then we're back to that. So now we're back here. And we can set this like I have it here. It's set for 2 amp load. We put in a uh, 18650. You can see the voltage that is coming from the battery. We press the old button. She's uh, discharging at 2 amps. 7.46 watts there's our amp hour there's our timer and we're back and we can turn it on and off quite easily is this a super sophisticated um, variable electronic load worth hundreds of dollars no and I didn't want one what I want is specifically this, an electronic load where I can set the current I want and press on. And it will apply that load to my circuit. That's all I wanted. And that's what I got. And that's perfect. Now let's look inside. Okay, size wise, uh, before we go any further, it is about 80 millimeters by 46 millimeters 
by about 43 millimeters. I mean, give you an idea of the size. Now, here is our back panel, pretty simple. You have the voltage to power it. You can see there, uh, positive on the top, negative on the bottom. Then over here you have where you hook your load up, which I find this extremely unnerving for some reason, that they have the positive on the bottom and the negative on the top. I guess it probably just comes from uh, years of teaching, knowing that somebody will hook it up backwards. Now here we have the UART interface. All you need to do is um, solder on three header pins, one for TX, one for RX, and one for ground. And uh, it's pretty simple. It's 9600, 8-bit, one-stop bit, no check, no flow. If you go to their page, it'll give you a complete rundown of the UART commands, but basically they are start and stop the communication, enable and disable the load, set the current value, and set the parameters. Nothing earth shattering there. So we have a nice cooling fan on the back, which is good, because you're going to need to cool it. But what I don't like about that is it's going to make it hard to enclose, and that's kind of why I bought it because I thought it would look nice in an enclosure with this little power supply do wobble there. But just because it's a uh, high heat device, I'm going to have to rethink that. Doesn't mean it's not doable, it just means I have to rethink it. So, this whole assembly right here simply pulls out. You can see it is affixed with header pins. And right here we have the uh, tip one, two, two. So let's zoom in here, get ourselves a better look. Like I said, we've got this tip one, two, two, which is definitely a Darlington. Pretty sure it's NPN. Maybe five amp. I can't quite remember. Then over here. This, I don't know how well you can see that. Let me let me get some more light on the subject. There, can you see that any better? Anyway, it's an LM224, it's a quad op amp. We've got a couple diodes here. Um, so this is our load in. Yeah, you see we got a couple diodes here for polarity protection. We've got a nice big resistor there. 025. Now over here is our working power in. We've got a diode there for polarity protection. I'm not going to guess what those little chips are. But anyway, this is a nice modular design here. That goes really nice. And then over here, which I am not going to take out of here because there's nothing on the other side of this but the... Uh, LCD and the encoder but we will get in deeper here all right so we see here our pin sockets and we see here a lot of flux residue nice bueno this is the whole tech um, LCD controller this is a new Vuitton uh, 16 pin microcontroller this looks like um, maybe a JTAG interface there. I can't tell what that is. Eight eight pin, could be op amps. Hard to say. We got a little inductor diode, a couple smoothing capacitors. Like I said, this is really quite simple and uh, ingeniously built. I love how modular it is. So this will definitely enter uh, my collection of electronic loads and I think I might finally have a winner here. Because all I've been looking for is something simple that I can set the current, turn it on, turn it off. Could be perfect. 
only time will tell. But a big thank you to IC Station for sending this out. Big thanks to you guys for watching. Again, the link's down below. That's it. I'm out. Peace.